about you joined the team when they were on the road. What was it like coming in today and putting the pinstripes on for the first time? Oh man, uh, you can't really put it into words. You know, you 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 know, I've said it all, you know before. You know, I was a baseball fan a lot longer than I've been a baseball player. And, you know, the 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 meaning and the, well, what it feels like to put on really to walk in this clubhouse, but even more so to put on the pinstripes and walk out into Yankee Stadium. I mean, for a baseball fan, it's pretty special. You had talked how hard you had worked this offseason to retool your swing and get to a good place offensively. What do you think is, is really clicked for you here since you joined the team? You know, I just I got my path um, back that I you know had for most of my career, and I kind of lost the last couple of seasons. Um, you know, I feel like I'm staying on balls, being able to put the ball um, in the air with um, you know with good spin and just you know having competitive at bats, seeing the ball well, and when you're confident. And you got a good swing, and you feel like you can step in there and face anybody. And I, you know, I, I do feel that way right now. What's your impressions of Judge and center field so far? And did you think that ball was going today? Oh, man, he's, you know, you, you play against him and you watch him. You know, you see the highlights on TV. But I, first, I don't think you know, you don't really, you just, you got to be around him every day to see what kind of a guy he is, the work he puts in, and. Um, the teammate that he is, but then, you know, just the talent. I mean, you know, going out there and, you know, taking a home run back and, you know, obviously what he does at the plate. Um, you know, he's a complete player and, you know, leader of this team and fun to watch. What's that do for the dugout when it's, it's Otani that loses a home run? Because you guys come out and score four right above me. Right? Oh, it's, you know, it's it's a complete momentum swing. You know, when you can, when you can do something like that, um, you know, it just changes the game and, you know, we really kind of, you be in the other dugout, it's the same thing. It's a gut punch, you know, when you take a swing like that and you're looking to score some runs and then the guy makes a play like that, you know, it can take the wind out of your sails. Did you face Syndergaard when he was throwing 99, 100, 101? How is his stuff different today? You know, I mean, the velo is obviously not what it used to be, um, but, you know, he's still a great pitcher and he's still a guy that goes out there and competes. You know, today we were able to put some really good at-bats against him. Um, kind of, you know, put him in a tough spot. But, um, you know, I just think the biggest difference, you know, having faced him in the past, I mean, he's this guy that was sitting triple digits, you know, most of, most of his outings. Um, and then, you know, the Vito's just not what it is. But, you know, he's still a guy who can go out there and, and be productive and get outs for, for, uh, for his club. And, you know, today we just had a good game plan against him where we were able to, you know, execute it. All those years you were in St. Louis and you probably see highlights of guys hitting homers over that short porch. Did you think to yourself that, boy, my swing would be perfect for that stadium and then today to come out and hit one of your first event here? Uh, you know, I, I never really put myself, you know, there in my mind, but I did think that, you know, it'd be nice to <laughs> have that short porch over there. And, you know, I hit that ball, you know, I, I don't know what that exit velo was, but I know I didn't I hit it great, but I just put a, a good swing on it, not a great swing. and. You know, it flew out, so um, I can get used to that.